Second thing on push boat with current is what you learned in your flute form, which is to make the steps a little smaller and to sink. Yeah, I know you never heard about that in Tai Chi. <laughs> okay, but you need to let it sink a little bit. And when you just sink a little bit, and you guys understand that you've been doing this for a while, when you let it sink a little bit, you'll feel it connect like all of your joints have been, uh, like our ball bearings, and they've just been uh, totally uh, made to be smooth, okay? So I have this kind of almost kung fu position where I'm really a little bit too tense and straight. I'm not, over, not really overly tense in the standards of Chinese martial arts, but it's not quite Tai Chi. It's just a saber set. See? I'm not doing it wrong, but I'm not doing what I, I just suggested. Okay? I'm going to come where you can see. I'm not doing it wrong. I'm just not doing quite exactly what I just suggested. My back is arched. My muscles are being worked. You would call that external kung fu. Okay? But I want to make it internal kung fu. I want to imagine I'm 108 years old. All right? So it's going to be a little smaller stance. I feel my tucking in. I won't lean back when I tuck in. I'll lean forward slightly. I won't slouch, but I'll be relaxed though. And I won't worry about my weapon. I'll let the weight of the weapon and my arm carry me. So a smaller step. What you're gonna find is it's gonna accelerate. And it's gonna have a little bit of a, a rhythm like that. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes, yes sir. Fancy.